Hey crafty friends, it's Crystal here with a little haul. Um, it's been a minute. Hey, how are y'all doing? I hope uh, fantastic and swell. And I hope you all enjoyed your summer. I certainly did. Um, it is a beautiful, beautiful day. And so I decided I'd sit outside today to share with you guys this little haul. I haven't bought paper or like supplies like literally all year. I don't, I like, I think I haven't even placed an order in the year of 2023. Um, and I just had my birthday in the end of August and I got a really good coupon. Um, and I've also like used up a few different paper collections and, um, like, I've also done some <laughs> some really good tidying up in my craft room because um, it's been like a really hot mess for like a year now. Yeah, for sure. Since like this time last year, definitely. Um, and yeah, I, I like haven't really wanted to be in there that much. So anyways, all of those things combined, it was like, okay, I think I can treat myself to a little crafty um, retail therapy. And like I said, I had that birthday coupon. That's really what did it. It was a good coupon. Um, okay. So let's just get started. I've got quite a lot to show, so I'll try to be quick. Um, first things first, this here, and I haven't actually looked at anything. I just took it out of the bags. I have the bags like, sitting right over here. Um, just took it out of the bags. I haven't actually looked at anything. I'm really excited. Um, anyways, this was a free gift. I'm like almost positive because I don't recognize, I think these are just some free sheets that they gave me. How nice. Maybe because it was my birthday. Um, so let's open this really quick. Okay. And like I said, I'm sitting outside. So there's like a tad of wind. Maybe I'll shove this to the side for a minute. Um, okay. Cute. This is from a summer collection. Good day. Oh, oh, it's the cut aparts. Okay. I like this. Um, my mom is a quilter and to me, this looks like a quilt pattern. <laughs> okay. Another one from this good day. Oh, cute. Okay. We could do something with this. Did they give me two of each? Oh, they did. Oh, oh I really like this one. Florals, of course. Okay. What a generous little gift. Two of each of those sheets. I could, I could do something with that. All right. Cool. And that was from Echo Park. Um, okay. I'm really excited about the Crate Paper Moonlight collection. I don't think it's like brand new. I think it's been out for a minute. Um, but like I said, I haven't bought like anything all year. And so I was debating between um, this Moonlight Magic collection and the, Mag the, the newer Maggie Holmes one. Um, I think it was called like Woodland Grove or like something like that. I was so torn. I almost went with the Maggie Holmes. Like I love a good woodland theme. There was also the Gingham Garden that I really liked. Um, but like I said, or did I say it in this video? I've said it before. I have a lot, a lot, a lot of paper supplies and collections. And like, I'm really trying to use them up and not hoard and just like, yeah, use it. And I've been doing pretty good. Um, but it's like, I didn't need all three of them. You know what I mean? So, but I, and I, and I also didn't go crazy and get like every single piece from the collection. I kept it like pretty reasonable. It just got a few pieces. Um, so this is the paper pad, the six by eight paper pad. There are, um, single sided. Okay. I did put a pair of scissors out here so we can, we can look. Come on. So yeah, I got the paper pad and then I got most of the 12 by 12, um, double sided sheets. They also have, um, a 12 by 12 pack of paper, but they're single sided. And for the 12 by 12s, I really like, sometimes I like the single sided. There are some projects that I like to do, like if I mat things. Um, but typically I just go for double sided. Let's flip through these. Whoops. Eh, come on. What are you doing? Let's flip through these real quick. Okay. Polka dots. Cute. Love the floral. And like these florals are so similar to the Maggie Holmes florals. Ooh, that one's really pretty. Oh, that's the other thing about the um, paper packs is that some of them, some of the pages are foiled. None of the like standalone sheets are. Oh, I love this one. Ooh, these are little like sunshines, little suns. I like that a lot. 
I hope this lighting is okay. And like I said, I'm outside. It's a beautiful day, but I moved myself like, ooh, I like that one, um, out of the direct sunlight, the cut apart. And I also, to be able to like get everything in frame, I kind of like zoomed the thing out of it. Whatever, if it's not good, I'm sure you'll let me know. I really like this one. Rainbow, oh cute, okay. Stars, pink, oh, I love the butterflies, of course. There's no one like you. Oh, yeah, I love these little elements. Bright, brave, and beautiful. Super cute. Okay, and that was that. So they, they repeat. You get two of each. Um, okay, let's do we'll do the double-sided sheets really quick. Oh, I love, I love all these florals. And this is pretty unique because these are like real pictures of flowers, like intermixed with you know, obviously little artistic depictions of, of flowers and or just of leaves, I guess. But I like that. It's kind of fun. Pretty pink on the back. Oh, I love this one. I don't think I got two of any because again, I was like, I don't need to go crazy with the supplies, but like I wanted to get two of some of these. This is so pretty. Oh, and that's got the sunshines on the back, but of course without the foil. I like this one. This again kind of looks like like a fabric or like a quilty, um, or maybe like wallpaper. Really pretty. Oh yeah, I remember this one. I'm definitely not gonna use the back of this. Um, this would obviously be really cute for like a scrapbook page, but um, yeah, I'll do some kind of folded something where the back doesn't really matter. Oh, I love this blue with the pretty, I would call that orange, orangey, yellowy, mustardy. And then the cut apart sheet, just some really sweet little things. I like that there's like a good selection. Like there's a few tags. There's some little like journal cards, a few little banners. And then um, I definitely like, uh, you know, like quotes or phrase cut aparts. Super cute. And what's the back of that one? That's really pretty, but probably won't be seen much. Love the butterflies. Pretty green foliage on the back. Oh, I love one obviously uh, it's called pretty things I don't know, I'm not reading you the titles I don't know if you really care ah yeah I love this again it's like these are real pictures of flowers super pretty love all the colors and on the back we got the rainbow oh I love this one this might be my favorite one hmm. really pretty and it's got that sunshine on the back gorgeous gorgeous and then I did get two, let's see. Okay, it looks like I got both of the ephemera packs. This was the ephemera that is um, the florals, the floral ephemera. Yeah, really, really pretty selection. Like there was no way I wasn't gonna get this one. Gorgeous. And then I got the like regular ephemera pieces, which it looks like comes with, yeah, includes 15 acetate pieces. Um, I really like this selection. Yeah, there's the acetate pieces here and then lots of like little tags and just cute stuff. Hmm, actually there are like a lot of journaly card things. I do kind of wish there were more um, like that weren't acetate that are shapes, you know what I mean? But that's fine because I did get the foam. This is foam, yeah, the foam stickers. Okay, love it. Yeah, I'm used to this usually being chipboard. Um, so I think I think I really like it. This is foam. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, this is where kind of these like individual pieces are. And of course they're foam, so they're like dimensional. These are so cute. I love this little squirrel holding the flower. The um, stamps are also really sweet. Oh, these little fairies and the flowers really really cute i'm excited about this collection for sure okay so i think that's all i got from the moonlit magic um and then i did get two graphic 45 collections um you know like i said haven't bought anything this year i think this mermaid one for sure i think has been around for a minute um but i got the same things from each i got the paper collection and then i did get the like solids patterns pack and then the ephemeras. Um, I think I'll just go through the paper. The solids are pretty like 
don't know. They're, you can see them here. They're pretty standard. Um, yeah, they're, like, they're not true solids, but you know, they kind of read as a solid. Um, and because the Graphic 45 papers, like they are really patterned and like really quite busy, I do like to have some of these solid ones to kind of break that up. Um, and then also, you know, I obviously send um, like snail mail. I like to make envelopes out of these as well, to like make a matching envelope. Um, yeah, so I did go ahead and get, which oh, also let me tell you, inflation, what a bitch. These have certainly gone up in price. These like collection kit things, they do come with a pack of stickers, or a sheet of stickers as well. But um, I swear these used to be like, $17 or something like the graphic 45 ones were always a little bit more expensive anyways, but they've gone up. I think this pack was like $22 or something like that. So anyway, yeah. Oh, so pretty. Yeah, I loved these colors. This is obviously pretty summery, but, um, whatever. I, I'll use it next year, you know? Okay. Really pretty cut aparts. And I also have like a particular pen pal friend in mind that I know would super love this. Um, like purple's her favorite color and she loves like mermaids and a good like sea theme. Make a splash. I love you more than all of the fish in the sea. That's really cute. The sea is calling and I must go. Born to be a mermaid, sees the day. Make a wish upon a starfish. Really, really cute. I also know that I have some wash. Oh, there's a bee. Hello, darling, please leave. Um, I have some washi tape that would match this perfectly. Okay, I really like this little like mermaid scale pattern. Oh, and of course, I love this. Mermaids. Go away, little bee. This is so pretty. I love purple. I really do. And um, purple is like a little bit of a less common color in crafting. Ooh, I really like this one. I feel like online, I was, I was almost, I was like actually pretty hesitant to get this because online, like I liked it, but then like some of the pages like this, I was like, I don't know, it looks kind of something, but like, oh no, it's super pretty in person. It's it's not like too busy or too, I don't know, yeah. Super pretty. Okay, I like this one too. Yeah, oh, so far, I love them all. This is probably like not my favorite one, but that's okay because I love this side. And this is just kind of whatever, but it's just really like, I don't know, really rigidly repetitive. <laughs> okay, I like this purple. Okay, love that. This is again, a little like rigidly repetitive for me, but it's not too much. Do you know what I mean by rigidly repetitive? Like, it's just a little, yeah, but it's still really pretty. I didn't, and I love this side, so that's good. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. I forgot that they, they've been doing this where you used to buy like the individual, like this basically used to be like a, a pack add on and they've started making it a sheet, which I don't mind. Um, especially since I buy the, the other pack. Um, but yeah, these like look like postcards basically. I love it. They're like, they're their version of cut aparts, but you know, I don't know. They're like different than a lot of others. Make a splash, born to be a mermaid. Yeah, these are really pretty, like, journal cards and stuff tucked in. Or just, you know, paste it on to make a pretty little banner. Nice. We get two of those. Oh, I like this one. They're not, like, starfish. It's kind of, like, almost a leafy pattern. Oh, okay. It's supposed to be seaweed. <laughs> I really like this side. Yeah, I really like that seaweed. And then we have some pearls. I really like these pearls, too. Oh, that's so pretty. And then, oh, okay, a really big, yeah, because, like, this is another one that, like, I won't use this whole sheet, but, like, I think it'll fold up nicely into a craft, especially, like, like this part over here, you know. We'll make it work, but I love this side for sure. And then the stickers. Yeah, their paper packs do come with a set of stickers. These are really pretty. I like, oh, this is, like, actually... Oh, never mind. I thought they were connected, but they're not. But they are like cut out to look like little tickets. That's really cute. Really, really pretty. I think maybe part of my concern was that I 
this I thought this was like a little monochromatic but like it's fine I think it's I definitely think it's gonna be fine and I'm gonna enjoy using it um yeah okay and then I'm not gonna open this but yeah really pretty I think that might even be the same as one of the other patterns but like different color variation I really like that shell pattern there and then I did get the ephemera pieces for this, which their ephemeras are like, like perfectly laser cut. They always look really nice added to a project. I'll just show it to you here. Make a splash. The sea is calling and I must go. Yeah, super pretty. What is that, like a little tab thing? Yeah, that's totally a little tab that you fold in half. I love the shells. Born to be a mermaid. Cute. Like I said, I probably will play with that next year, but I have it, so I can. Okay, and then this one, girl, I could not resist a good fall collection. Oh my gosh, I'm really excited about this one. And this one I think I will try to use this season. Um, it's called Hello Pumpkin. Did I say what this other one was even called? It's called Make a Splash, this mermaid one. Um, and again, I'm not gonna open this, but yeah, I love pumpkin patch, pumpkin spice and everything nice, autumn leaves and pumpkin please. And again, I really like that there's purple incorporated in here. Yeah, I really like these colors for fall. Okay, let's go through this and go faster. Open please. the other way fall is in the air welcome to the pumpkin patch oh, yeah i love all these little like stamp pieces hello pumpkin welcome to the pumpkin patch this is really similar to the other one with like the tickets and the um the stamps yeah i love the incorporation of purple so pretty love these leaves I'm really happy about the yes yeah, oh my God, the purple, so pretty. Oh yes, yes. I love this one, these leaves. This is just so pretty. It's gonna be super awesome in the Pen Pal project. Okay, more leaves, love it, love it. Oh, and this is the cut apart page. Or, okay, maybe, I don't know, like I'm not, they might not be like totally consistent. I don't know if this one will also have like a postcard cut apart page. Did that one have both a postcard and a regular cut apart page or just the postcard one? Whatever, really like this one. I love this little squirrel. These are so sweet. Peace, love, fall. I love the crow. Yes. Some of this could like almost be Halloween-y, like, like the little crow and purple. I feel like purple is a pretty Halloween color. Love the green as well. Oh, okay, I love these pumpkins. Super cute. I think that'll just look really sweet in a, in a pen pal project. Yes, that'll just be a great background to something. This one too, that looks like a great oops, background. Oh, okay. I love this. So pretty, I love these pumpkins. I love the little flower accents. Super pretty. A nice plaid. Okay, cute, hello pumpkin. This will be perfectly cut apart into a six by 12 strip to make some kind of little project. For sure. Cute, cute, cute scene. Oh, I love the little crow and the little squirrel. So sweet. Oh, okay, looks like there was two. So now we have, ooh, these are so pretty. Autumn days are the best days, totally. Fall is in the air. Fall, sweet fall. Hello, pumpkin. Yeah, these are super fun to tuck into the pockets of your Happy Mail. Pretty polka dots. Ooh, I like that one. I love that the purple is the background. Pretty florals. Nice plaid. Oh, okay, big big scene, but like this will totally fold up nicely. 
for autumn leaves and pumpkin please fall is in the air but, all right and that was the end of that um i'll hold up the little ephemera bits Ooh, yeah love this one the little like looks like a little lemonade stand but you know pumpkin style and I love the leaves the little banners this little cart totally cute excited to play with that one okay um my next stack oh, let's try to be quick um I love these little Sizzix impressionlets I am I'm gonna take this off so you can this is so you just run this whole thing through your dye machine with a piece of paper under it and it cuts out the shape and embosses it at the same time that's what the impresslets are and I super love them I have a couple others um they don't make like a ton a ton of these um I think you do have to have like the bigger die cut machine to do this like the mini ones definitely won't work because this is pretty thick so it has to be one where um you can like stack up the the layers that it has like a platform and like you take one of the platforms out whatever but i super love these things so it because they're so easy and fun because they emboss and they cut the shape out all at the same time and so this is like little kind of fake wax seal looking things it says thank you love and then kind of like a little compass um so anyways oh yeah okay we can see it there really like the impresslets and then I love a coffee theme. And I saw that um, P13 had this coffee break collection. So I went ahead and picked up some pieces. Oh yeah, oh, their paper is so nice. Oh, it's like just, it's really thick. It folds well and their designs are always so sweet. A lot of these pastries. Oh, I love this floral, obviously. Cute little cut aparts, but first coffee. Oh, a nice, um, I forget what we call that to, to, to something. So I got the six by six pad and I got the 12 by 12 pad in this. Okay, we're repeating, I think, yeah. Um, and then I got some of the elements. They've come out with like, gosh, they have like a lot of elements in their kits these days. Um, I got the little decorative tags. They have like multiple different options for like decorative tags and stuff. Um, should I open this real quick? Maybe, maybe just real quick. Yeah. Really pretty and like really nicely manufactured, you know, like perfectly cut out and everything. Um, okay. Super sweet. Coffee, coffee, coffee. And then I got, uh, this little pack of chipboards. I think they had like at least three of these, um, sticker chipboard things but this is the one i picked addicted to you thanks a latte but first coffee take a deep breath enjoy the moment and then there's a couple little frames down here i've been kind of having fun making like little shaker elements on my projects with these little frames so because it kind of used to be that like i there's too many frames that come in the collections what do i do um but now i don't mind like a few you warm my heart that's really sweet and then I almost always do get their envelopes. These are just, I don't know, like really fun. And um, if I make, excuse me, if I make a project that has like a big pocket, it can be nice to like put stuff in the envelope and then stick it in the pocket. But then also it can be nice to like paste the envelope into the project. Um, I think they're all the same. Yeah, but just really cute, really fun and pretty. And then let's see, oh, I did get ephemera frames and words and again like I think there were multiple different okay yeah I mean I got the ephemera that was like the bits and pieces ephemera and again these are all gonna be like oh oops okay well 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 these are all gonna be like perfectly cut yeah just really pretty really pretty pretty ephemeras Really nice florals and cups of coffee and cinnamon buns. Cute. And then I'm not going to open this one, but we can see it just had, I, cause I really do like phrases and like words and stuff. Um, in fact, like the, what are they called? Graphic 49, 
no oh no i'm getting something mixed up graphic 45 is this this there's like market 49 or something like that that i love again i love their papers love their designs but it never comes with any words and i find that like i struggle a little bit like i need some words i need some phrases in there um so yeah definitely wanted to get to get these and then oh this was fun i got this art journal elements let's open this up um I think this is a little bit of a newer thing. You know, like I said, I haven't been buying a lot, but like I, their older ones definitely didn't have something like this. Um, what the heck? Okay. So, okay, we have like a little tab fold over thing. Oh, and you see how like the manufacturing, it like perfectly, you know, fits. Um, okay, we have two of those. And then there's like these little corner pieces. Okay. Okay. I'm not entirely sure what I would do with that. I mean, it looks like, um, you can make like a really cute bookmark with that. You know what I mean? It looks like one of those little corner bookmarks. Um, okay. Never mind. There were three of those. Yeah. There's a couple of these. What does it say on the back about those? Just triangle pockets, small triangle pockets. Okay. I mean, yeah, there, that would be a really, really small little pocket, but. Oh, and that's like nicely perforated. Ooh, cute. That looks more like instead of a pocket, like um, like a holder piece. Like you would tuck something in. You know what I mean? And you have like one on each side, and it would be like to hold it in place. Um, but really cute. So we have this that same thing, but in a couple different sizes. And then okay, I was excited about this. I mean, of course I make my own pockets, but like I just couldn't resist this little pack with the pockets already made. And I mean, you could totally pick whichever side you want. Um, kind of looks like this is supposed to be the side to go up, but like, I don't see why you couldn't fold it the other way. Really, really cool. Little pre-made pocket and there's two of those. And then, okay, just some journal like pages with one rounded corner so you could make um, you know, like the two sides to a, a booklet or something. And then I think these ones have tabs. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's more too. Oh, wait, do we have like double? Oh yeah. Okay. And then we have the same thing, but with a different pattern, the same set of stuff, but with a different pattern. Yeah. So cool. You know, I'm excited to try this out. Okay. These ones are different. Oh, wait, what? Okay. Oh, 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 okay. It's like, there's gotta be two of each. There we go. I really like this one. Cool. And I'm sure that like this pocket fits perfectly on here. Oh, it's a little smaller, but okay. Love it. Yeah. So I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with this. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, I think it's all going to be really easy to incorporate into my like little pen pal journals. Oh wait. Oh, there's even a third set of these. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I love this flower one. All right. Well, cool. Yeah. And you could certainly pick whatever side you wanted for those. Well, cool. Oh yeah. I'm excited to play with that and do something cool. Yeah. There were nine of the tabs. So three from each of the designs and then two from each of the others. Yeah. Okay, cool. I am gonna put this back. Whoa, I just dropped one. Yeah, so that was the art journal set. Set of paper embellished elements for your art journal. Cool. Um, I can flip through this real quick. This is just the 12 by 12 pad of the coffee break. Oh, they always do um, like a fussy cut page on the back that, you know, so it doesn't like waste the branding page. Okay, I really like this one. The words that say coffee and espresso and stuff. Okay, big piece there. That'll cut nicely in half or even, that'll just cut up nicely. Okay, cut a pots, but first coffee. Keep calm and dream co drink coffee. In fact, I have a little, let me have a sip. birdies y'all right over there like I said I'm outside oh I see the um I have a bird feeder 
that is like squirrel proof. And so basically what that means is like, the way it works is that if something heavy tries to like sit on it, it like drops down and doesn't work. So like a squirrel literally can't get into it. But that also means the big birds, like a crow or a stellar jay, I think they're also too big to use it. And so what happens is um, the little birdies use it, love it, but then they kind of like drop some bits and make a mess and whatnot. And then the stellar jays, which were, you know, those kind of like bigger blue and black birds, they come and like pick up the crumb, the crumb bits on the bottom. And it looks like they're here right now being like, okay, leave little birds. It's time for me to eat. <laughs> I love my backyard friends. I have lots of squirrels and I, I put the bird feeders up. So I have lots of birds that come. Oh, I love this one too. Oh, I really, really like this one. The top view of the coffees. This is just really pretty too. Mm, cute. Okay, and then I think we repeat, yeah. So there were only how many, there's not like that many designs, six designs. They tend to be kind of smaller collections like that. Okay, so that was Coffee Break from P13. And then I did get, uh, I have a lot of Christmas paper. And so like, I didn't, you know, I don't really need a lot of Christmas collections, but I, you know, I love a good floral. And so I did go for the Christmas flora that Cardabella came out with. Okay, we'll look at that in a minute. Um, and the way they did this this year was that the Christmas floral had like three different lines inside of it. There was a peaceful Christmas floral, joyful and merry, I believe. I really liked the peaceful, like it had the pink accents. Um, and so I did get myself just one of the solid sheets. Um, I don't know, I do like to have that for like matting some of the, um, you know, the cut apart pieces and whatnot. I maybe should have gotten a couple other colors because I think they make, I think they make three solids um, in, in coordinating colors. And, but I don't know. I, like I said, I kind of was, I was like, didn't want to go too much and get too much stuff. So I kept it pretty, pretty low key, but I, I'm excited about this Christmas floral. This is so pretty. Oh, and I love Cartabella papers. Like their designs are always just so pretty. And like the papers are that really thick kind of textured paper. I just really love it. These, oh, I get two of these. Is there, oh, okay. Maybe there's two of each. I think that is the way it is. Okay, these little Christmas trees on the back are so sweet in the pink. Yeah, so there's two of those. Christmas time in the city, all is calm, all is bright. Peace on earth, meet Mary the mistletoe. Just really sweet. I like that there's one that's the other direction. I really do like it when they include that. One that goes the other way. I honestly don't love it when they include one that's like a solid. Um, I mean, whatever, but like, why? <laughs> I, don't, I don't really need a three by four, like, solid piece um if it was like different maybe but that's whatever um maybe i'll layer it with a piece of ephemera or something that's probably what i'll do okay let me just flip upside down i love this i love it i love it i love it oh i love how it's like it's super traditional christmas but with the pink but again it's like not in like that overly girly way which of course like I love that you know what I mean like um uh Frank Garcia Prima they had like a really pink really cute Christmas that they came out with last year which I do have and didn't even use because I like didn't even Christmas craft last year um but I really like that this is pink but still traditional yes love this because like their poinsettia is still you know what I mean love it did I even show you the back of this it's just a little just a holly pattern. Cute. Nice plaid. I love this one. Little boughs of green and things. Pretty star pattern on the back. That plaid is super cute. Okay, and there we have again the beautiful florals. Love it. Yeah, this is called Peaceful Plaid. What a name. How perfect. Okay, more floral. I love it. Oh, I really like that one too. I feel like that's perfect for the peaceful. Just kind of like, you know, calm. Yeah. And I think that's, oh, right. And then we get the sticker sheet. 
which has some really beautiful florals and cute little word sentiments and things. I love this little joyful. Yeah, so super cute. So yeah, like I said, um, they, they had a merry and a joyful line, but they weren't as pink. Like they were still, they were all still floral. Like honestly, they were all gorgeous. You know, all florals, love florals. Um, but this was my favorite. And you know what they didn't include, which I was really disappointed out. And I even like went back and double checked is there's no enamel dots. And I was like, man, what a miss. Because I feel like enamel dots with this, like the red and the green, the green, the different green colors and the pink just would have been so pretty. Like why didn't they include enamel dots? But they didn't. I even checked like another website to be like, maybe this one just didn't have them. No, there were no enamel dots with this collection. I love these little ephemeras. And so this was the ephemera because they always have two different. They have the ephemera and then they have like the frames and tags. I went with the ephemera. And then I did go ahead and get the um, six by six paper pad because I just really liked this and I thought I could do some fun stuff with it. And like in hindsight, the fact that I got the six by six, maybe I should have gotten more of the solids, but whatever. I like that the cut aparts are a little bit different in this one. Super love this. I think that is different. I think that's a different background color. Is it? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe the same. Yeah. They're, they're like the same or very similar, just smaller. The most wonderful time of the year. Meet me out of the mistletoe. Oops. Oh, yeah. Like, I don't think that was in the, the 12 by 12 pack or the, yeah, the pink version of that holly. Yeah. And then, okay. I actually really like that they do include a solid. So like I said, if I do want to like matte something, that's awesome. Also, I don't think that was included. I think this was like, yeah, it was this green color. Okay, cool. So they did mix it up a little bit. Oh, oh yes. And there's another solid. Okay. I like this six by six paper pack. I don't always get these. Okay. I don't really know why they have a white solid included, but whatever. <laughs> that, that seems strange to me. Why did you include white? Was that a mistake? Interesting. Okay, that one's pink. That one, okay, I can accept this. That's pink, but this is just white. Okay. And then I think we're repeating. Okay, and another solid. I really do like they include some solids. Not white though, that, I don't, that seems strange. Like, is it white over here too? Yep. Okay, well, cute. I am happy with that. Okay, and then, um, the last stuff that I got was baby boy themed because I'm pregnant with a little baby boy. Um, that's also why I've been like a little bit MIA. Um, I have been so tired. Like my first trimester was really, really rough. Um, but I'm feeling better now. Doing good. He's due in December and I'm just really excited and wanted to get a few baby things. This collection is so cute and sweet. This is an Echo Park. Um, I think maybe it was an older collection because there really weren't many elements available, but also I was like, you know what? That's fine. I don't need to go crazy. Um, oh shit. This is so cute. Oh my God. I love this. So like we're really tall in my family. And so giraffes are like a cute thing, uh, for us. Oh, this is so sweet. Oh my God. So anyways, I had to get just a few baby boy themed things. I'll go through this just really quick. Um, oh my God, it's yours. Cute as a button. Mm. So also I do, oh, I love this one. I love you to the moon and back. Sorry. Um, my nose is a little, um, runny. Oh, is this the same? No. Oh no. Okay. It's not the same. Um, I forget what I was saying. Oh, what a little whale. So, so sweet. Uh, I do want to make an actual scrapbook. Like I have, you know, all of the tools and things to make scrapbooks, but I don't like, that's not the kind of paper crafting I really do. But for the baby, I think I really would like, I'll probably do like a couple, you know, cutesy pen pal type things, but, um, like who knows, this is really sweet. Who knows how much time I'm going to have for that. Look at these little onesies. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at this little snail. 
Oh, it's so cute. Um, but I really do want to like actually scrapbook melt my heart. That's right. Read me a story, tuck me in, tell me you love me and kiss me goodnight. Welcome home, sweet little baby boy. Oh, I love this. This is a, yeah, a Winnie the Pooh quote or A.A. Milne, the person who wrote Winnie the Pooh. Sometimes the smallest things take up the most room in your heart. This is so sweet. Oh, the little storks. Oh, this collection kit is just super cute. But yeah, I just got the collection kit with this. I love this space theme. Oh my God, that's so cute. Little stars, little tags. This was like a really common thing um, with like all of the kits is that they include like a one, two, three, whatever. I don't know if I need like so many iterations of that, but it will be cute for, oops, these little polka dots are just really sweet little bubbles. Um, it will be really sweet for doing a scrapbook page. This is so precious. Oh, that's pretty nice and simple. Little dapper pins. Oh, look at this cut apart page. See, like this would be just really cute for like a scrapbooking thing. These little babies. Oh, so sweet. Oh, sweet, pretty darling. Do not cry. I will sing you a lullaby. So anyways, oh my God, this is adorable too. This whole collab, I'm so glad I got this. This is super cute. I love all these colors. So sweet. Anyways, so yeah pretty excited about that. I don't know exactly what kind of like baby crafting I will be doing, but um, there will be, there will definitely be some. And I would like to make a, um, an actual like scrapbook something. Um, so this is, this is the other baby stuff I got. Let's see. I got a couple of solids. This was a random one. I have this sunflower market kit. I was making some stuff with it and I didn't have any of the solids. So I just, I just picked up like one, just, just that to go with like another thing I'm doing. Um, okay. Oh my God. It's been like, oh, it's been 42 minutes. Shit. Maybe I should have done the baby stuff separately. Uh, maybe I won't actually flip through all of these and I'll just show you. Okay. So I got a lot of the Our Baby Boy collection. Um, those are the solids. And then they had, they had Our Baby, they had Our Baby Boy, and they had Our Baby Girl. So I got like a lot of the Our Baby Boy or like a fairy mount. So I got the collection kit. I got these really sweet chipboards. Cause I was thinking this is one that I would try to actually scrapbook with. So I did, and like, cause I haven't really scrapbooked before. Um, I wasn't entirely sure all of the supplies I would want. Um, so I didn't go crazy, but like, this is all stuff that I could totally pen pal with too, if I wanted. Um, I got the ephemera and I, oh, I loved this. I can barely wait to meet you. That was like my favorite piece because I call him baby bear and just kind of like bear themed things. It's kind of our thing. So this had some bears. See, I love the enamel dots. Definitely had to get that. Okay. It looks like I got both the frames and tags and the ephemera. Cause again, I, I want to use this one for like actual pictures. So I thought some of these frames would be cute for that. Maybe I'll go through, I'll go through this really quick. Um, but this video has been really long. I won't go through all of the, oh my Lord. I won't go through the whole collection packs. And I think all of these are Echo Park. Um, I think that's where like most of the baby stuff was. Okay, cute stars wild thing you make my heart sing oh my god cute this is really sweet this is just really sweet you know what i mean and it's a little bit more traditional baby perhaps all good things are wild and free wild thing you make my heart sing small cut apart it's like little two inch cut aparts Wait, oh my god, brand new. Oh, I love these. Born to be wild. New to feetsies. Aww. Oh baby, tiny feet live big imprints, leave big imprints on our heart. Aww. Okay, not anything we're repeating. Super cute. So yeah, let's not go through the collection kit. But just really sweet. It does look like there's 
a ton of the stickers. Yay, I like that. And I also liked, something that I really liked about this was that it had like green as one of the colors. Um, I mean, I'm having a boy, but like blue isn't, not that I'm like doing it up fancy. I'm not with like the nursery and whatnot. Um, but green is definitely more the color that I'm going for over blue, which is honestly why I picked this one up because this is, like I said, this is really similar, like kind of the same almost as this one. Uh, they had our baby, which was like kind of the gender neutral version. And then they had girl and boy. So I just picked up the collection kit. Um, none of the extras for the our baby. Um, but I mean, they could totally go together if I wanted them to. I don't know if I do. Um, but yeah, really. Yeah. That's like very, very similar. Like the, is it the same? Yeah, it literally is. It's literally the same. Just, just, they changed the color scheme. I don't know if like the whole, whole thing is like that, but yeah. Uh, and then I did get, it's a boy. I just thought these little like illustrations were so sweet and I just, I don't know, I couldn't resist. And so for this one, I did go ahead and pick up just the chipboard phrases because I just liked them. I thought they were really, really sweet. And you know, I do like to add a little dimension to projects. So I just picked up the collection kit and then the chipboard. Um, I think I won't go through this one either just because we're like at so much time. Um, but yeah, I really liked the colors, this kind of, I don't know, sage green type of color. I really like, um, and again, I had this sweet little giraffes. I think all of these collection kits had giraffes in them. Um, and just like really sweet word sentiments and whatnot. So anyways, oh my God, that was everything. Whew, you drink a water here. That was everything I picked up um, for my little birthday haul. And I think this was a little bit of an older one. You see it had a, it was quite a bit cheaper. I think maybe that's the other reason I was like, ah, fuck it, I'll just go ahead and get it. Cause like it was pretty marched down. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to do some cute, baby crafting and of course some like fall crafting and Christmas crafting but like we'll see how much Christmas I actually do like I said he's due in um the beginning of December so like we'll see <laughs> but okay thank you guys for watching if you made it all the way through to the end oh my god we're almost at 50 minutes um I like a long haul video so like I, you know what I mean? Like I would watch this type of long video. If it's not for you, I totally get it. Um, but if it is, thanks for watching. And I do want to come back with some fun, um, crafty projects and stuff, but like, I might just do more craft with me's. Um, like, I feel like I haven't been super inspired to like create like my own new, like types of things. And so then I'm like, well, then I don't need to post like this, this tutorial's already been made. They don't need to see it from me, but then there also are places where like doing tutorials isn't even really about it. It's just kind of like project sharing. So it's like, okay, maybe I'll just do some project sharing. Um, let me know your thoughts down below if you wish. And, um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.